Good night everyone and welcome to another herping vlog here in 2023. This is episode number 11 I believe and this is pretty different because I've actually already gone out in road cruise tonight. Um, I'm coming back right now to my house after the road cruise. I just didn't have had no time to film an out an intro to the video and I will say this it was one of my most eventful road cruises and I'm just hoping I'm able to get some footage off an SD card that may or may not be corrupted because I got a really cool lifer and it was very unexpected so I'm pr probably just going to cut straight into the road cruise wrap up this intro and you'll see what I saw in a couple seconds. Well, we got our first snake of the night, and it is a little baby cottonmouth that um, has worked its way onto this wet, rainy road. Pretty cool. We have just found my life first Scarlet King snake crossing the road after a rainstorm. The patterning is different from a Scarlet snake. The head also is more black to it. So I'm definitely going to try and get some pictures of this guy, but look at this. That is unbelievable. That's my first Scarlet King snake. It's my lifer. Oh my God, what a great way to start off this video on a very slow night of cruising with temps only around 70. Awesome. This is absolutely incredible. Probably the last thing I was expecting to find was my life for Scarlet, Scarlet King Snake, but what an absolutely beautiful, stunning snake. It's been posing here so nicely for us. Of course, I left all my SD cards at the house. So the one that I've been using has been acting up, but I'm hoping the footage came out good, and so did a couple good photos, but We'll make sure the snake gets off the road. We'll probably turn around and head back. And yeah, what an unbelievable night of new snake on this road for the first time in quite a long time. Scarlet King. Third snake of the night is this cottonmouth, which is much bigger than the last one we saw. This cottonmouth is probably close to three feet long. He's working his way on the road right here and no one's coming there's not hardly any traffic so we're just gonna probably let this snake be and we'll keep on going but yeah third snake of the night and another cottonmouth so it is raining right now and that is a cottonmouth so i'm not getting out of the truck because it's raining right now but yeah that's a cottonmouth on the road so i'm gonna try and avoid hitting him as we turn around but yeah cottonmouth in the rain and it's only 70 degrees so go figure well, we had no idea what this was at first. We thought it was a cane toad, but this is an absolutely monster southern toad. Um, just, you can see the back end from there. So here's my foot. This thing is moving. I don't even know how to describe it, but yeah, this thing is huge. This is easily the biggest southern toad that I've seen. It may not, the video is not really doing a good job getting the scale reference, but that thing is just so big and is now off the road a cane toad size southern toad hey everyone i just wanted to show you all something really cool um pretty quickly here weather wise so to the east it just looks like it's storming where we are we actually it's nice and sunny but to the west it looks like it's storming down there so we're getting some really interesting weather here it's making for some really good cruising conditions for snakes and stuff so we'll see how this plays out okay everyone the first snake of the night is this very young cottonmouth without a doubt the most common snake that we have here so yeah this is a smaller one oh he's mouth gaping but 
We're gonna keep on going and let this snake be because chances are we're gonna find more cottonmouths. The frogs are really get, going strong tonight. You can hear them over this way, but a lot of green tree frogs and other stuff too, so that's exciting. All right, everyone, so right here, this is a male and female southern toad. The male is on top and he's implexing the much larger female. And then they, yep, there they go. The male's getting a free ride as the female's going right off the road with him. So, yeah, he's having a good time. Okay, everyone, so the second snake of the night is another cottonmouth that has just worked its way off the road. Let's see if we can get a little closer. There we go. So, like I said, um, most common sink we'll see out here, so we'll keep on moving because we're most likely going to see another one. All right, there we go. So, here is another cottonmouth working its way onto the road just a few minutes right after seeing the last one. It's pretty cool. Well, we have another cottonmouth on the night. Um, this is without a doubt the largest one that we've seen. I believe this is our fourth cottonmouth. So it's been a hot minute since we've seen a snake and there it is up close. So yeah, cottonmouth number four, pretty slow night. Temps are a little cooler, but we're gonna keep on going and let this guy be, see if we can find a snake. Hey everyone, so we got another cottonmouth. I believe this is the fifth one of the night. Um, so yeah, we're gonna let this snake be and keep on moving, but five cottonmouths and really nothing else, but yeah. And here is another cottonmouth, probably maybe the biggest one of the night, but this is, ooh, cottonmouth number six. And he is not, or she, isn't really a fan of us. That's for sure. So yeah. We're just going to let this snake be and keep on going, but it's another night of cottonmouths. So this is an invasive Cuban tree frog that's on the road right now. So yeah, we've got like southern toads everywhere and a Cuban tree frog and all the other frogs are calling. So we have another pair of toads and implexus. There is the male who is grouping onto the smaller female, the larger female, excuse me. Yeah. So, we're gonna let these guys be and keep on going. So this is kind of what I was referring to, to southern toads. The, these dots you see on the road, these are all southern toads. And we've already found a few in Implexus, so they're just chasing after each other. Oh, there's one right in the white line, so. This is gonna be, see if I can get it, so I'm like going over him, but yeah. I've had to do this on several occasions. I mean, there's already another one that's right up here. So that's a toad, that dot right there. So yeah, there. that was only a few of them. And there have just been so many southern toads on the road tonight and more than I have seen in previous cruises. Well, we have another cottonmouth. Again, we're working our way back here. I do believe that this is a different cottonmouth from the one we saw earlier. Um, so this is a new one on the night. But yeah, never get tired of seeing these snakes to, despite how common they are. But yeah, we're going to let this cottonmouth be and we're going to keep on driving. So here's another cluster of three, reverse, three um, southern toads. So there's one there. I'm going to go this way to avoid these two. 
although one is kind of coming towards us. But yeah, that's what it's been like, just clusters of southern toads on the road and having to drive around to avoid hitting them. And there are several southern toads that are on the road. There looks to be that pair hopping off as an implexus. So I'm going to go this way. Hopefully avoid hitting them over. There's, I guess I'll turn so you can see them there. There's a handful, so I'm just gonna go this way, avoid hitting them and get back on the road. We have a new species of snake on the night. This here is a Florida brown snake that I somehow spotted on the corner of my eye. A car just came barreling down through here, most likely hit all those toads we just passed, but it didn't get this snake. So I'll make sure that this Florida brown snake gets off the road and we'll keep on going, but a new species of snake for the video, so that's pretty exciting. All right, everyone, so we have yet another cottonmouth on the night. Here's this one right here that it's working its way on the road. So yeah, we're gonna let we're gonna let this cottonmouth be. I didn't realize it had my light on. It's a younger one because you can see the yellow tail there, but yeah. There is the cotton, so keep on going. Hey everyone, so this is another cottonmouth. I think it may have been the one that we the first cottonmouth in the night because it's pretty close to where we saw the first one, but unfortunately I think this cottonmouth may have gotten hit as you can kind of tell over here, so that sucks. Um, but we haven't seen that many dead cottonmouths tonight, which is also a good thing, but yeah, we'll make sure this guy gets off the road and we'll keep on driving and maybe we'll find another snake.